It is very important to understand that when an individual is released, they are released into immigration enforcement proceedings where they can make a claim under the laws that Congress has passed. And All right, thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you. If you believe he engaged in insurrection under the plain meaning of the 14th Amendment, you believe he's ineligible to be president. Those laws, you know, those are up to the states. They have different laws from state to state. I don't think he should ever have the been Constitution. president. But nonetheless, the, the, uh, that, uh, there, there is a view of the Constitution in Article 14, Section 3, that he should not be uh, able to run for president. But that's not the point. The point now is, um, that again, different states have different laws. We don't think in California that it, it applied uh, in our state, that's what the decision was made here. But anyway, not to go into that because that's very intricate. What is very clear is that the American people want us to honor our oath to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States. As President Biden ramps up his general election campaign, there are new warning signs. The Washington Post reporting former President Obama has raised questions about the structure of President Biden's reelection campaign. Two sources confirmed to NBC News that Obama and Biden met over lunch in December and discussed the campaign, with Obama expressing deep concern about Mr. Trump's political strength. Underscoring the urgency, one source telling me this is an all-hands-on-deck moment. How worried are you about black voters showing up for President Biden in November? Well, I'm not worried. I'm very concerned. And I have sat down with President Biden. I don't know. I saw those reports. I've also seen at least one report indicating that I have sat down uh, with President Biden. And I did uh, with him. Uh, and I've uh, told him what my concerns are. I have no problem with the Biden administration and what it has done. My problem is that we have not been able to break through uh, that MAGA wall in order to get to people exactly what this president has done. With respect to your question about the December surge, that was certainly an extraordinarily high number of encounters. It coincides with a time when uh, Mexican enforcement was no longer implemented. The Immigration Enforcement Agency in Mexico was not funded. It is what prompted President Biden to reconnect with President Lopez Obrador, as he has done consistently throughout his administration. The two have a very close working relationship. It is why I, Secretary Blinken, White House Homeland Security Advisor Sherwood Randall, traveled to Mexico two weeks ago to ensure their recommitment of immigration enforcement authorities and resources and for us to also recommit our partnership 